Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. The stream of emails which I receive are not waning. Also in the comment sections are many people asking personal questions or questions of particular interests which I simply do not have the time to answer at all or at least in full. Many of these questions are concerned about the feeling of being followed by very strange beings or even extraterrestrials or even humans which are working probably for hidden evil forces. Humans write me that they are, in some cases for many years, being followed and constantly hiding from forces unknown to them. These people, when they write, are in many cases very specific, make the impression of high intelligence, and in many cases have experienced hardships and even ruined lives because of the situation they find themselves in. Are the extraterrestrial races or in specific the tall white aliens at least partly responsible for their plight? I must clarify this question today. We, the tall, white, alien, extraterrestrial race, are since several thousand years on this planet and have our hands in many different political and religious affairs in order to lead humankind in a way which is beneficial for the universal forces at large. But, we the tall white aliens, and as far as I know, no other extraterrestrial race is following the average human being on planet Earth and trying to scare them and trying to influence their minds and also try to ruin their livelihood. For what avail? For what reason shall we spend time, effort and energy to follow people, scare people and ruin their life? For every action taken by us or even by any ordinary human beings, there must be a motive behind it. No living creature acts and spends energy wasted. Yes, people spend energy wasted, but they don't intend to waste their energy. And neither do we, the tall white aliens, spend our energy on individuals, in this case on thousands and thousands of individuals, to follow them around for years and years and scare them and do some strange unexplicable things to them. People who write me these things and also many of them experienced hardships in their family, lost their job and became abandoned by society must reflect on themselves and admit that there may, might be a mental disease involved. And that is not speculation, but this is the assessment of Karl, who is a specialist in this field, and he is lending me his body to speak out of. I myself, Rudolf of Germany, I am not a psychiatrist. Nor do I particularly try to solve the mental problems of 
a very vast group of individuals who contact me. But this little bit and piece of advice I took from Carl, my human host, to tell you. To tell you that most of you who feel followed or abducted by us, the tall white aliens, are simple mental cases and nothing else. Only people of high spiritual standing can experience the switching of dimensions and see us or other beings who live in other dimensional universes. Yes, there are beings which are hidden from plain sight of humans. But these beings usually do not interact in such a way as described by many of you, following them around in the streets, photographing them, visiting them in their homes, strange beings, bringing them to strange places or even UFOs and conducting some kind of experiments on them. These are in 99% mental cases who experience this and believe in such circumstances. This had to be said clearly and once and for all. I will from now on not answer any more emails concerning individuals who believe that the universal powers are watching them, specifically them themselves. Ask yourself, are you really that important that powerful beings from another planet or beings from other dimensions follow you around 24 hours a day for 20 years? while you do nothing special, but watching TV, eating hamburgers, or even being unemployed? Ask yourself that question, and then visit a good doctor to help you. Rudolf of Germany. <laughs>